21 miles south of Santa Barbara and four miles west of Anacapa lies Santa Cruz, the largest of the group of the Channel Islands. It's 21 miles long and six miles wide at its widest point, and the mountainous terrain rises to a peak of 2,434 feet above the water. I love driving Highway 154 into Santa Barbara on a clear afternoon. When you crest the San Marcos Pass, Santa Cruz Island stretches across the horizon. Although you can get to the island by ferry for a day, and a few campgrounds are available for longer stays, the island really is a boater's paradise. There's simply no other way to fully experience its remarkable beauty. Rugged and steep too, the island is undeveloped and virtually uninhabited. Its 77 miles of coastline are notched by small bays and grottos that offer endless possibilities for exploration, and its Mediterranean climate makes it a year-round destination, though summer and fall are most popular. The geology of the island is a delight to the senses. Along the southern coastline, ancient schist and metamorphosed sedimentary rocks thrust upward in tortured twists and turns, while on the north side, Miocene volcanic formations drop precipitously to the sea. There, weak spots are carved away, creating dramatic amphitheaters, arches, and sea caves. Trails ashore provide the opportunity to hike across wide sea terraces, over mountain peaks, and into steep coastal canyons. And the clear waters surrounding the island are alive with whales, dolphins, sea lions, and other creatures making the water's edge a favorite destination for divers, fishermen, and kayakers.